Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you had a fantastic weekend and enjoyed Tokyo Game Show. And yeah, if you enjoy Dragon Quest news, JRPG news, top 10 videos, reviews, podcasts, all that good stuff, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications at all so you won't miss the next video. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I think we can do it with your help. I'm going to be showing two big segments of gameplay that were revealed both during Tokyo Game Show and after, starting with the Pyramid gameplay from Tokyo Game Show itself. This was a little show where they got Yuji Hori together with kind of like a game show host and stuff like that, and they went through a bunch of stuff, but most of it was stuff we already knew, so I am just going to start you off with the Pyramid gameplay. There is a section near the end where I kind of cut it out and cut it back in. That's because they got to a segment that they censored because they did not want us to see it due to spoilers and stuff like that. And then it picks up right after that. So I just skipped the whole part that was kind of censored out just because there wasn't a lot going on. You couldn't really see anything gameplay wise. And then I just spliced it together. And after the pyramid gameplay, I've got 18 more minutes of Japan exclusive footage that was released after Tokyo Game Show. I'm working on a video about all the little games that looked amazing at Tokyo Game Show that kind of just fell through the cracks. So I'll be putting that up tomorrow morning, so look forward to that. I don't think it's going to do well because YouTube likes to kind of throw you into a certain niche. The video is going to be mostly quirky little games that I really, really liked the look of at Tokyo Game Show and I'm looking forward to playing once they finally come out. So I just wanted to kind of showcase those, so that'll be Monday's video this week. This part is... This was not here in the past. True. Awesome. I'm getting in. Wow. Spiderwebs so authentic. Inside the pyramid, authentically rendered. I love the music here. I'll go this way. I can see the map in the dungeon. Yes. Wow, so many. The first battle in the pyramid. How about using a skill? I can use a flame slash. For reason, this is something got it, right? Yes, we increase skills a lot. Skills a lot in Dragon Quest 7. It's okay. Karma Spot uses skills and spells against lots of monsters. Five still remain. And then. Oh, fallen asleep. Warrior Hori falls asleep. Kibe san, Kano and Kibe. Kano and Kibe are also in danger. As Saka is a priest. It's no good. Kano is in danger. I think I should switch tactics. Sakai's tactic is switched to focus on healing. Heal? Wait! Don't sleep! He's dead! Don't sleep! He's dead! Hero Kano is defeated. Wait, wait, we'll be wiped out. They are so strong. I think we're very close. Who's not doing the job? In the world's first pyramid, the world's first wipeout? Good. No, stop that. Don't do that. Stop that.
Yes, no, good. Track is strong. No. It was very close. That was close. I think we can win. Barry defeats the enemy. Coffin's behind. I think we have to go back. Sorry, I just panicked. Let's just calm down. The walls first escape from the pyramid. Going back to the nearby town, Ibis, to revive the allies. Returning to the pyramid, we have to be careful this time. This is where we died. Zap! Oh! Why do you move twice? One moment. I'd like to give instructions and in attack. Okay. Good. Easy one. This is true us. Okay. The treasure chest. It's empty. Okay, I walked a lot. Turning back, going inside. No! I thought you'd fall. No! Cannon falls into the pitfall, which is in the original version. No? Scary place, you cannot use spells here. Oof, fight a battle without spells. If we cannot use a spell to fight. But the enemy cannot use spells either. The enemy cannot use spells either. Okay. That pitfall, was that okay to be disclosed? No criticano safety mode necessary? It's okay, we can show them, because that pitfall was pretty obvious. Can Kano escape safely? I see, using the weapon skillfully. Here it comes. This brings up so many good memories. I purposely created the walking corpse monster as a member of the mummy party. I see. That's how we created the character setting. The walking corpse has a lot of HP. Yes, you're right. Kibe-san! Oh no! That's not good. I just realized we don't have any healing spells. Kano-san, I thought you had the heal spell. Spell... and spell to Kibe-san. Heal Kibe-san. Okay, we're good. What happened? Oh, we can't use magic in this place! Kori-san? The creator himself! What are you doing? I couldn't use it. We have to beat it physically. That was close. That scene should be edited safety mode. We shouldn't show the creator making accidental mistakes. After that, the party finds a staircase and was able to get out safely. 
and return to the previous spot. I think we turned left last time, yes. So let's go straight. Uh oh. That was close. Very close. Although narrowly escaping from going down the pitfall, these monsters are strong. It's the same monsters that almost forced the party to give up. Kano, what's your approach this time? How should we fight? We should banish them. I see. Poof. Which monster? This one's better. Disappear! Great. Poof succeeded. Immediately, Kano takes the upper hand. Their defense is strong, though. It doesn't die so easily. Don't sleep. Oh, he slept. Kano snoozed. But Sakai cock a doodle dude right after. And battle won. We made good judgments. After that, by taking each step carefully, there should be a staircase going up. The party moved up a few floors this way. In the remake, even for weaker monster battles, there's some tension. Yeah, there is. If you lose concentration and don't think hard enough, you may lose the whole party. That's what happened exactly last time. So, Hori-san, what's your favorite monster? Actually, hmm, I like the walking corpse. I'm proud of my audacity for giving it such a good name. Yeah, you're right. When alive, he used to be called Smith. That's cool. I've seen that name in Dragon Quest V. So it's his name when he was alive. And you coined the names of the spells too, right, Hori-san? So does Frizz come from Mera Mera, the automatopoeia for fire in Japanese? Yeah, I'm from the Kansai region, so I use a lot of automatopoeias. Gira Gira, which means glistening. I'm showing reductions. They go skirt, turn that way, and vroom. There you are. So it's a culture with automatopoeias. So, whoosh, frizz, crack. While listening to Hori-san explain about the automatopoeia culture... What's this? A mysterious button. Are we okay? Uh-oh! No! Where do we have to start over from? I'm scared. Where did we fall to? I think there was an order which you had to press the buttons. Order? Pressing the buttons? What should I do? Four similar buttons exist on the same floor. It is a riddle which must be solved. A new feature added in the HD 2D remake can be used to solve it. When you open command... Memory. A boy we talked to in Ibis. What? Round buttons open doors. First the left of the east and then the right of the west. So this is what the boy in Ibis village uh, said when we talked to him? So it's uh, the memory of the hero in Ibis and when talking to characters in the game and something seems important, then you can store it in memory and if you move the button just like the clue, then we can clear the game. Memory is a function which allows you to store conversations. It may assist the hero in solving mysteries. Remember and recall our skills introduced from Dragon Quest VI, and we decided to apply it in the three remakes, so it's truly a culmination of the series. Kano successfully solved the riddle. And in the next chamber, finally... Here, just as Hori-san was saying... A ghostly voice is heard from somewhere. Misfortunes behold and the one who ponders the claw. Oh no, something's leaking! Run, run, run! Hurry! Hurry, wait, wait! Press the circle button! Kano and the others enjoyed the pyramid.
あなた方人間がこのエルフの里に一体何のようです何ですってノアニールの村のそうそんなこともありましたねその昔私の娘アンはとある一人の人間の男を愛してしまったのですそしてエルフの宝夢見るルビーを持ち去り男のところへ行ったまま帰りません所詮エルフと人間アンは騙されたに決まっています多分夢見るルビーもその男に奪われこの里へも帰れずに辛い思いをしたのでしょうあ,あ人間など見たくもありません立ち去りなさい。
その手に持っているのは夢見るルビーでは男は地底の湖に身を投げたというのですか、はあ、私が二人を許さなかったばっかりに<笑>わかりましたさあこの目覚めの粉を持って村にお戻りなさいそして呪いを解きなさいアンもきっとそれを願っていることでしょうおーアンママを許しておくれあっ。